So let's look at the stoichiometry. I've balanced the equation. Uh, one mole of any gas at SAR, oh, I meant to say SATP, not STAP, uh, is 24.7 decimeters cubed. Now that's different to the number in the book, in the data booklet, because the data booklet value is at uh, zero degrees centigrade, and we're assuming room temperature. So uh, how much hydrogen did I make? Following the decimal places rule, that comes out at uh, 29 millilitres. Divide by 1,000 to get it into decimeters cubed, and that's the volume of hydrogen that I made. Now using a simple ratio, you can calculate the moles of hydrogen that I made. But I really want to know the moles of metal that I used. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio between the moles of metal and the moles of hydrogen. And if I know the moles of metal that I used and the mass, I can get the molar mass. Putting in the moles from the balanced equation, we have 28 grams per mole. Now, what was the mystery metal? Uh, it was magnesium. Let's check out the periodic table. 28 is actually silicon. So, I wasn't as close as I'd hoped I'd be. Magnesium, that's 24 grams per mole. That's because there was a systematic error. The 41 milliliters I initially read, to be honest, I bet that was closer to 42 because the reaction had started and gas had been liberated. So let's say it was 42. That would mean that the volume of gas slightly bigger, which would also mean that the moles of gas would be slightly bigger. And if the moles of gas is slightly bigger, so is the moles of the unknown metal. And then pushing that through the equations, that would mean that my molar mass is actually smaller. Yep, I got 28 and I was hoping to get 24. So this was a systematic error. The error was only ever gonna push the data in one direction, in this case, to a higher molar mass. And we're done.